Let's make some brownies. So we're making brownies from this mix. Maggie's holding it right now. And I know I usually have this magnetic skill to make brownies myself without any like dry ingredients or anything just from scratch, but we don't have time for that. So let's start. So we're already halfway done. All we have to do now is add water, add butter, and eggs. We just preheated the oven to 350. So let's start with adding the water, butter, and eggs. Some eggs. You could say I'm a pro. Yay! He's filming. <laughs> oh my gosh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Zoe, he's filming for his YouTube channel. Wow, you're not very good at cracking eggs since there's already shells in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why this is so hard to boil. <laughs> Show them the egg that you tried to crack over into the bowl. <laughs> I'm wondering why it doesn't crack. Jesus, we don't have any more eggs. We have them in the back. Show um, them get them? <laughs> this is a disaster. So we got rid of the hard boiled egg. I'm wondering why it's not cracking. And it's because it's hard boiled. So let's see if Maggie. <gasps> Maggie, oh my gosh. She doesn't even know how to crack an egg. You said it would be harder to crack. Yeah, but you don't go. <laughs> it's literally, that's, it is a little harder to crack though. Like that. I think I did pretty good. Mine just flew right out the egg. I didn't even have to do anything. That is true. <laughs> what are you doing? We need to whisk. This is just to scrape down the edges. We've obviously got an amateur baker in our premise. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Zoe, someone from the YouTube channel. Wow, you're not very good at cracking eggs since there's already shells in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why this is so hard to boil. <laughs> Three tablespoons of water, so as is that seriously two eggs? We might have to add more. I don't know. It depends. Because on it, we're replacing butter with vegetable. I mean, you didn't really add anything else. One. What is that? This is water. Two. And the third one. Okay, so we have three tablespoons of water. Now we've got the butter. So the first thing you have to do is this is only half a cup, which is literally the exact thing for this. So we can just take it off and put it in. And it's room temperature, so we don't have to put it in the microwave. It's gonna take a while to mix in, but it should be good. Whatever, it's fine. I did. Apparently Maggie here did not wash her hands. When I did, go wash them. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh gosh, we're gonna have to add milk because it's just too. I know why though, because instead of vegetable oil, we added butter, which does make it more fudgy, but it also makes it harder to mix. So, there's simple like. Can I try? Yeah, sure. It's adding just about a tablespoon of milk. Yeah, because it's not coming Normally off. I would oh. What? Usually I would I would add um I usually have almond milk but it just doesn't incorporate that well. It's like adding water. So unless you really have to base it down. This is the reason I'm using skim milk because we actually don't want to add too much of the milk flavor. It's more of the texture we're going for. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's like got a speck of butter on a speck. <laughs> And she's acting like it's the butt apocalypse. I have this stick of butter on my elbow. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I swear, baking with other people these days, it's just so much, anno so much more annoying than baking by myself. Which is what I usually do because I'm very lonely. That's just sad. 
I do have a few a video where I baked with my friends. One time. One time. Oh, good. That's good brownie texture. Let me show you how it Here's looks. Here's the tasty brownie mix. We're thinking about adding some chocolate chips just to make it a little bit more um, like chocolatey. So in baking, when you have chocolate chips or any type of like nuts, you usually have to coat them in flour so they don't all sink to the bottom. But because our batter is so thick, it doesn't actually matter. So we're going to add just about half of a cup. This is a fourth. We'll start with the fourth. We're gonna start with the fourth cup of chocolate chips and see from there. Because you don't wanna have like just a few slices that have chocolate chips or just a few chocolate chips in each slice. But you can always add, but you can't take away. So mix that in, see how much it is. Oh, definitely more. Yeah, we'll be doing half a cup. That's much better. Now every slice will have a few chocolate chips, which won't be too sweet, but it will be sweet. <laughs> you might get a little diabetes from our brownies. My definition of sweet is um, double fudge. <laughs> I know, I can tell. <laughs> With whipped cream, ice cream, and frosting. So yeah, this is just under sweet. So we're gonna finish mixing and then we're gonna pour it into a pan. We thought there was a disaster, but this is actually the perfect size pan. We're gonna see what happens though. We might be short on batter, and which means the sides won't be as like big, but we're not serving this at a gourmet restaurant, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. So let's get that pour. Maggie, hold it. Just hold the pan up so I can see. Um, with both your hands. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like you were doing some technique. Okay. Oh, chocolate on my shirt. What? Oh, mine. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're sucking. We might have to do this from a different angle because. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this from a different angle. So now we're gonna do it from this angle. You can't see our faces, but it's the sacrifice you gotta make. I'm sure they don't mind. Oh, maybe they don't mind seeing your face. Yeah, oh, maybe. gosh. What? We didn't spray it. Did you? No. Mm. <laughs> this is what happens when you're baking with images in the room. I mean, it's not a huge deal because we can scoop it out, but ugh. Now we're just going to coat it with some grease because that's what we forgot last time. Brownie is one of the most sticky things after it's cooked, so you will really want to grease it a lot. Now we have to kind of move it around with a napkin, which Maggie's going to grab. And then I usually, after this, just spray it one more time and don't move it around, because sometimes you can take a lot of grease off. Okay, you're good. And now we're going to put the batter in for the second time. So, okay, yeah. so basically Davis, basically Maggie, Davis failed to start the preheating in the oven so we had to do that just now and we might have okay. to wait a while. It's a bake and it went 350 and I didn't hit start because I thought it did that automatically. Actually I think it's mostly Maggie's fault. That's the part I don't believe. You don't believe it? Okay David. <laughs> okay let's scrape it in now. You can hold the bowl. I'll scrape it. I'll scrape it. Okay, now we're gonna add a top layer of chocolate chips because <laughs> we're really healthy here. But I don't know where the chocolate chip bucket is. I'm not using any sort of measuring cup because it's not a measurement. It's just sprinkled chocolate chips. Because we eat healthy here. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven. So now we're putting it in the oven. Of course Maggie didn't open it for me. Don't drop it. You can only hope. 
How long? Oh no, there's a little chunk of chocolate. There we go. You know what, just to make sure. This is some now you let all the heat comes out of the stove, <laughs> now it won't cook. But you got the thing off the bottom. There you go. It says 350 degrees. <laughs> so we checked the brownies and they finally are done. We actually had to put them in for 10 more minutes longer than we originally did because they just weren't done. So here they are. They actually look tasty. Maggie, we're ready. And here they are. So we've got our brownies all cut up and they're ready to serve and we're gonna film Maggie's reaction. Eat it. Yikes. Mm, really good. It's because I made them. <laughs> wow, I'm a great cook. <laughs> are they fire? They are. They're bomb. <laughs> so the brownies like slapped. They were so good and I really, I enjoyed making them. We had quite a few disasters with putting hard boiled eggs in putting the batter in before the oil, but hey, it didn't stick. <laughs> well, so yay. <laughs> anyway, schoolers, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later. Bye, schoolers. Bye, schoolers. <laughs>